a lot has been going down with the PS4 over the last several weeks, especially here in February and March of 2018. It seems like every other day something new is popping off in the whole underground exploit hacks whatever ps4 scene and for some of you this could be maybe a little bit overwhelming or confusing and so today we're going to try and clear things up i know that as you've surfed around you've seen all these different terminologies and all these different exploits and even claims of jailbreak or whatever across different firmwares and we're going to try to clear things up and explain what all of this means so that way you have a better idea of where your PS4 should be at in terms of firmware, where you should go, and what you can expect both short-term and long-term in the whole PS4 hacking scene. And hopefully we'll try and clear things up. That and more coming up next. and welcome again to the video and here today we are going to cover just some information regarding uh, the PS4 so we're not gonna waste that much time let's go ahead and just jump right into it and let me start off by saying first that the PS4 is not I repeat not jailbroken nor has it ever been and the reason why it's not is because there is no full kernel exploit up to now, the kernel exploits that have existed are kind of like, think of them as a partial kernel exploit. So in order for us to be able to do all this cool stuff on these PS4s, we need two things. We need to have the WebKit exploit, and then you need this partial kernel exploit. Now, if the day ever came where we had a full kernel exploit, then that'll be great. You don't even need the WebKit exploit anymore, except maybe the first time to um, you know, run the full exploit or whatever. This is... On the uh, PS3, this is how it works on some of those models and like on the 3DS or whatever, you have a full kernel exploit, which allows you then to go into that system's uh, operating firmware and you can then add stuff, take stuff away, modify shit, however you like. And then when the system runs, it runs this customized firmware that you made and you now have a fully jailbroken system that's been cracked wide open and then you could do all kinds of crazy stuff. Here there are limitations, there are restrictions because it's not a full kernel exploit so it's not a jailbreak. Although I can understand maybe why some people still call it a jailbreak because they just call any type of hack that you can do or exploit a jailbreak but technically it's not. When you turn off the system and you turn it back on your system is not jailbroken. You still have to run the exploit all over again uh, in order to be able to inject um, the apps and the homebrews and whatnot, which on the PS4, when you transfer those files over, those files are payloads. Any PS4 that is 455 or less is ideal, and then you want to update it to 455, and it seems like everybody has migrated over from 405 to 455. We're even seeing new things made for 455 that didn't even exist on 405. Of course, while you're on 455, you still, unfortunately, can sign in uh, to PSN. You can only run games that require 455 or less firmware, or though there are tutorials that are out there that show you how to actually change some of the files in these games in order for them to require lower firmware to function. But we're not going to get into that. There is a 550 spoofer. This 550 spoofer does not let you get online, but apparently it does let you play games up to 550 firmware. Although I haven't seen any 100% confirmation that it works, although the spoofer is out there. Oh, and by the way, that 455 kernel that Spectre Dev did release, the uh, credit really goes to Cordy, and I don't know how you say his own name. We're just going to call him Cordy, and some of you may already know who he is. Um, who actually is the one who had the 455 kernel exploit, but when he released it, it didn't have, I think, an entry point or something like that. And then Spectre Dev apparently worked on it a little bit and uh, had the fully functional 455 kernel, and then it was released in late February. And of course, there's a lot of cool stuff that you can do with 455, you know, from uh, backing up your game disk to installing package files. You can install the games in package format. And, uh, and that's just 
kind of the tip of the iceberg. I'm just in shock how much is coming out for uh, 455. So again, ideally that's what you want to be. Even Dean is working on Multiman for 455. He has not given a release date. However, don't expect it to be like the PS3 version of Multiman. Of course, there will be more limitations and restrictions here, but he stated that uh, you will still be able to do a lot of interesting things with it. So if you have a PS4 that is above 4.55, all is not lost. There are uh, WebKit exploits out there that cover the 5.00 through 550 firmware, and 550 as of the making of this video is the current PS4 firmware, so that's good. There's 5.00, 01, 03, 05, and 550. But remember what I told you before, you need two parts for the PS4. You need that WebKit exploit, but you also need the kernel exploit. So unfortunately, the highest kernel exploit that exists for the end user right now is 455. That means for you guys, this web exploit on 5.00 through 5.550 really isn't going to do you absolutely any good until that kernel exploit comes out, until a matching kernel exploit comes out. So just so you get an idea, QWERTY, who is the one who got the exploit of 455, did it back in April of 2017. He released it in February of 2018. For those of you who've been asleep or didn't attend math class for the last few days or possibly a decade or two, that means that there was a 10-month gap in between him obtaining it and him releasing it. In October of 2017, he claimed that he had the 5.00 exploit. Now, this 5.00 exploit, if he follows the same guidelines he has been following, that means he's not going to release it until maybe 9 or 10 months later. From October 2017, that means if today we're in March 2018, that means we still have a few more months to go before we see that 5.00 or the 5.05 exploit being released unless somebody else comes out with one. Once that 500 or 505 comes out, since we already have the WebKit exploit, then we'll be able to use it. So when you come across all these videos here or tutorials or articles or whatever um, that claim that there's a jailbreak for 505 and 550 like this one, and here's another one, 501, 505, 550 exploit jailbreak. Uh, here's another one down here, 505, 550 jailbreak. No, 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 no. There, first of all, there is no jailbreak, but there is no way for you to run the payloads and install all those cool apps and homebrews on anything above 455. Yes, there's a WebKit exploit, but as I said before, there really isn't anything you can do with it, at least from the end user point of view. So pretty much all of this right here, it's all bullshit and clickbait. So to wrap things up, if you are on a firmware that is above 455, then hopefully and ideally it's somewhere between 5.00 and 5.05. You need to stay, if you have one that's on one of those firmwares, you need to stay put right where you're at. Meaning if you have 5.00, stay there. 5.01, stay there. 5.05, obviously, stay right there. If you are on 5.50 and you're waiting, you're kind of screwed, man, because... QWERTY already indicated that he will not be working on the 550 kernel anytime short term, so anytime in the near future. So yes, he will work on it, but more than likely it'll be you know later on, which means you have to wait till he gets to it, whenever that is. Then of course he has to work with it, and once he's gotten success with it, um, however long that is, then you're going to have to wait for him to release it. And based on his history, eh, it's going to take, what, 10 months? So that's going to put you guys on 550 deep into 2019 before you have a uh, viable solution for the PS4 where it's been exploited and hacked to the point where you can do all of this cool stuff.
And that's pretty much it, guys. I just kind of wanted to bring you up to speed with just some of the basic stuff. You know, there's a little bit more to this, obviously. But that's just the meat and potatoes so you get an idea of what's going on, where we're at right now, and where we'll be here in the future regarding the hacks and the exploits. And I've been hitting the PS4 stuff really hard. I have the PS4 SDK installed, and I'm working on payloads from editing some of the ones that are out there to making my own and hopefully here in the near future i will be releasing stuff uh for the 455 systems anyway thanks for tuning in as always don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe take care guys and we'll see you on the next one